The antennas. The left one. Working to a chain. Working to a chain. Wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. Pinch the yarn tail. Make slip knot in this way. Wrap the yarn anti-clockwise. Then yarn on the hook, and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. Tighten up. A slip knot is made. Start with seven chain stitches. Turn, skip the first chain stitch, and work three slip stitches, three chain stitches. Then turn, skip the first chain stitch, and work five slip stitches. Let's start. Work seven chain stitches first. Yarn on the hook, and pull through the loop on the hook. That's one chain stitch. Such a way is a chain stitch. Place the marker in the first stitch. Continue to work six more chain stitches in the same way. Yarn on the hook, pull it through the loop on the hook. One more time. Yarn on the hook, pull it through the loop on the hook. Again, yarn on the hook, pull it through the loop on the hook. Keep working the remaining chain stitches. Okay, seven chain stitches are finished. Then turn, skip the first chain stitch, and work one slip stitch in the second chain stitch. Skip the first chain stitch. Skip this one. Insert hook into the back loop of the second chain stitch. In this position, skip the first one. Start from the second one. Insert hook into the back loop of the second chain. Okay, hook the yarn. And pull up loop through the stitch. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the original loop on the hook. Okay, that's one slip stitch. One slip stitch is completed. We need to work one slip stitch in each of the following two chains. Remember to place a marker in the first slip stitch. Continue to work two slip stitches in the same way. Insert hook into the back loop of the chain. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the original loop on the hook. That's a slip stitch. One more time. 
insert hook into the back loop of the chain. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the ranging loop on the hook. Okay. Three slip stitches are completed. Then work three chain stitches. Yarn on hook, pull it through the loop on the hook. Repeat two more times. Three chain stitches are done. Then turn, skip the first chain stitch, and work five slip stitches from the second chain. Insert hook into the back loop of the second chain. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the original loop on the hook. That's one slip stitch. Continue to work four more slip stitches in the same way. Five snip stitches are finished. Then yarn on the hook and pull it through the loop on the hook. Stretch the loop. Break yarn, leaving a long end for sewing. Okay, remove the marker. The left antenna is completed.